I think one of the, um, a good phrase for self-control, to describe self-control, is yes I can, but I won't. It's oftentimes not controlling yourself to do the things that you're doing. Um, it's often, most of the time, controlling yourself to do uh, to not do the things that you shouldn't be doing, you know, the things that are detrimental to you physically or mentally or whatever is, they're taking you in the wrong direction in your life. Um, I truly believe, I, no, no matter how much you think about uh, society and community and other people in your life, I mean, I love people. I love being around people. I love um, my family, my friends. Um, one of the best things I think is just sitting there watching other people, you know, watching the world going by. But when it comes to self-control, it, it does what it says in the tin, you know, you're responsible for yourself. You're responsible for controlling yourself. And you can't control anyone else. You can't control anyone else's body. You can't control their minds. Um, and, you know, at the end of the day, if you're looking for a, a better society, start with yourself. You know, Gandhi said this. He said, uh, you know, if you want to see a change in the world, start by changing yourself first, you know, seeing that change happen in, your, in yourself. And, you know, it's looking at things from that perspective, you know, of self-control is a skill that you can learn. You know, it's not something that um, everyone is born with. I think you have to learn how to control yourself. You know, if you think back to when you were a baby, you know, look at any baby and they can't even control their, their arse muscles, you know. <laughs> they, they can't control anything. It's all learned, everything. So self-control is a skill that you learn like anything else. Um, and you learn it by focusing on one area at a time, controlling that area and then moving on to the next. Uh, and this is the same thing that you have to do with alcohol. I mean, it's easy to, to disappear into alcohol, to say to yourself, ah, yeah, fuck this. I'm not doing this today. Or... Uh, I'm not even going to think about this today because I've got this magic potion that will make me not think about things. But that becomes a vicious circle. It becomes something which happens again and again and again and again. And it leads you down into a dark rabbit hole where it becomes more difficult to, to get out. You know, the more you dig, um, the deeper you go, uh, the further you have to come to get back out again so um, developing that self-control uh, stopping procrastinating and pushing yourself into that zone where you're saying to yourself right I'm going to do this now and I'm going to stick to it you know stick to one thing at a time stopping drinking and that's it you know the more you drink the more you get stupefied by it the more you just become moronified by the alcohol and the harder it gets to do it, you know, this is the moderation thing. People trying to, to moderate, they're trying to escape doing what they know is necessary to do. And that's to stop drinking altogether. Um, that moderation just keeps pushing you into a cycle of doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. Somebody said that was the form of insanity. I've read a few times that it was Einstein, but I'm not sure. I think it was somebody different. So self-control is saying, yes, I can do this, but I won't. It's not doing the things that you know are going to give you short-term discomfort, but are going to give you a long-term growth that are going to better you in the long term, that are going to force you into that, uh, into positive habits positive addictions if you like you know there is such a thing as positive addictions where you just get addicted to doing something over and over again but it gives you a positive result when you push yourself through you build stamina you build hope you build self-confidence you build self-esteem um, you build self-control you know it happens like this it's, it happens as a step-by-step -step process uh, the more you do it, the, the better you get at it, the easier it becomes, the better the results that come about um, because you're pushing yourself through. And that's the beauty of it. Um, it takes a while to get started. It's like anything else. Think about it like going out and um, trying to run a marathon. You know, if you're starting out from scratch, you'd be full to try and go and run a marathon the first time, but you do it slowly, slowly but surely. 
gradually build the stamina and eventually if you stick to it and you control yourself you'll get there you'll get to that place where you can you know and it applies to anything anything in your life so um take care of yourself uh, keep the alcohol out of your mouth i'm kevin o'hara for habits of e2 onwards and upwards bye now